<laughs> Thirsty? A little bit. Good morning. We're currently headed to Cincinnati. We are going to the B105 station to pick up some tickets that I won last week. I won tickets to see the play God of Carnage at the Playhouse in the Park. I submitted online a story about a bad time I was I had. And it was when I lived in Price Hill and I went to school in Woods, got sick, was sent home from school, and I got on the wrong bus and got lost and so forth. But they picked my story and I won. We're here. We'll see how this goes. Okay? I am headed in to pick up the tickets now. Let's see, I need to go to the fourth Let's see. Got it. Here it is. This is so exciting. And it's for two people. Here it is. The tickets that I won, two people. They have a list of dates on here that I can go, but it's a $50 value. I'm excited. Yesterday when we came home, our internet was off. We called the place, told them about it, and they're supposed to call us back with it. Okay, so we decided we're gonna stop at my parents to pick up a few things since we were driving past the area anyway. Well, we got a call from the people who's going to fix our internet. They're on their way to our place now. As we are rushing to get home, hopefully we'll get there before they get there. On the plus side, with them coming early, we'll get done. They'll get done early and we can do what we want in Cincinnati. Okay, the plan is we're getting ready to head out. We're going to be going to the playhouse in the park and we are going to be watching God of Carnage, which I can't wait. I looked up some of the details on it, and I can't wait. It's just going to be interesting. Hey, guys. We are on our way to see the play at Playhouse in the Park. I'm looking forward to it, and so is Brian. We need something to give our mind to ease our minds with the, the horrible day that we've had today so far. Hopefully, everything will turn out fine and everything goes better. So we needed directions on how to get there, so we're using the GPS on our cell phones to get there. You see the little arrow? It's moving and it's got a predetermined path the way we should go. Look at that. Look at all that view. I can tell you the best park that has the best view is the park is Mount Echo Park, I think. Okay, come on. Look at him, master of the steps. I feel like I'm traveling through the forest with man-made steps. That are really steep. Look at that. These steps lead all the way down and across this path. Like this sure takes me back. I miss the days of my youth when I used to do stuff like this all the time. What an adventure. What do you think? I'm out of breath. But did you like it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay, here we are getting ready to go in. What was that? You like it? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Like the guy said, this parent, Heineken, St. Holly girl. Get it right. This is what we got to try. Totally nice. Damn good. <laughs> yeah, it was. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Too good. So we just got done watching the play and let me tell you, it was amazing. I mean it was full of laughs 
It was just amazing. I would recommend seeing that if you ever get the chance to. There is playing at Cincinnati's Playhouse in the park. Check out the details at Cincy. Um, at Cincy something. I'll have the details in the doobly doo in the thing down below. <laughs> okay, Brian. Who do you think your favorite character was? Out of um, uh, Michael, Annette, Veronica, and what was the other guy's name? I can't remember. The lawyer dude that was constantly on the phone. It's a cross. <laughs> it's a toss up between Michael and lawyer dude. I felt sorry. The favorite, the most funniest part was when the lawyer was on the phone and her his wife, who at this point was drunk from drinking straight rum, walked up from behind him, grabbed his highly expensive. This is not like some cheapo phone you can get off get from a store. It was like like probably like a high end like Black Bear or something like that. And he she takes it. Hangs it up right on his client, right in the middle of a conversation that he was having with his client. And then as soon as he tries to get it back for her, she takes off running and then dumps it into a flower pot full of water, literally drowning it. And then the next thing you know, he's slumped on the ground, looking like somebody just shot him with a 45 and him in defeat. <laughs> it was hilarious. And then Michael tries to do his best to revive the phone by taking by taking the battery pack cover off, taking the battery pack out, and then shoots it with a hair dryer. What the hell? My favorite part of the video of the video of the play, um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick just one. But if I had to pick one, it's when the guy pulls out the rum and offers it to the lawyer dude, and the women's like, "What about us?" And then he gets one, and Michael gives wine to Annette, but refuses to give wine to his wife. And she throws a fit about it and takes the whole bottle and just starts drinking from the whole bottle just by itself. <laughs> I guess I'd have to say that would be my favorite part. <laughs> all in all, it's a good show. It's worth the money. It's worth it. We got to see it for free because I won a contest. But it is worth it. I mean, it is totally awesome it's we were in the balcony section front row seat but I can also say there was hardly very few empty seats most of it was packed and it was a really good play it's all like professional and then it just goes hysterical it, 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 it ends up exploding and it, it was funny. Another part that I thought was my favorite was when she started, when Veronica started beating up on her husband, Michael, and the lawyer dude pulled her off and said something, and she, she just threw a fit and told him, it was just, you have to watch it. it it's kind of hard to explain because some of the phrases we can't hardly remember, but it was good. It, it's worth seeing. Honestly, if I had the money, I would probably go watch it again.